Hey y'all, this is my third attempt at making this video. My camera kept acting so strange and it was making everything fuzzy and my videos are bad enough. I don't have to have fuzzy out of focus uh, shots. So I'm trying it for the third time, but I do want to tell y'all that I did get a new phone. Believe it or not, even though my LG G3 is like, I mean, it's like in brandy new condition. After nine months, let me show y'all. The screen is like perfect. There's not a scratch anywhere. And I even, if you could believe it, I got one of those charging coils that you plug in permanently there. And I just put it under the skin so I didn't need a case. And look, my LG G2, even though it's not a Verizon model, it charges wirelessly. So that's pretty cool. But it's just, you know, it's a very slippery phone. It's a little too small. And quite frankly, I'm not going to lie to y'all, I am pissed off at LG. I don't think I like them anymore because they went ahead and they had such a good product. Their UI was really catching on. And even though there were a few people that loved to slam it, I can't believe that LG went and listened to those big mouths and ignored the fact that so many people bought and loved their product. So now their UI is totally flattened out no uh gradients which i love no you know cool icons everything is flat boring and then their ui colors are hideous and i don't have to tell you i mean they're getting expensive now because they're getting popular so now you're talking about if i were to get the lg g3 and be so disappointed on a lot of levels i'd be getting less of what i had and paying more and I knew it would just be a frustrating experience because I'd be like, oh my God, they changed this. Oh my God, where's that? And so I just decided to abandon them completely. But I have found another cause to take up because I was really impressed with the Huawei Ascend Mate. I went ahead and, you know, I had the Samsung Galaxy, I mean, the Samsung Tab 3, and it was the international version, and it was a phone, and... I don't know. I have it on night mode, so... Oh, no, it's not. My bad. But anyway, you know, it's a phone, and so... Goodness gracious. I cannot show y'all what I want to show y'all. Yeah, so it's a phone, and, you know, it's really nice. I mean, I really liked it. I called this my Godzilla phone, but it's been replaced by another Godzilla phone, and this I'm so impressed with because I've... I had a Huawei device back uh, in the day, about four years ago. I had a small 7-inch tablet. And I wasn't too impressed. I think I returned it. But I was impressed with the fact that it was the only tablet I ever used. That when you took the battery out, you could still plug it into the wall and use it. And that was pretty bizarre. So that always stuck in my mind. And when I saw that Huawei now has a $299 phone direct to the people, no carrier... It's not 1080p, it's 720, but it's a 6.1 inch phone. And after having that one that's too big and the LG that's too small and just so tired of paying the high prices for phones, I really wanted to try and get the Oppo, but <laughs> that's like a pipe dream. So I went ahead and I got this and I have to tell you, I'm not disappointed. It has, um, well, you can read up all the specs, but you know, it's not really missing anything. It's got a little bit of a slower processor, but... I got mine before June 20th, so it came with this free um, thing. And look, it's even embossed, and it's, you know, it's got the smart window, and you can, you know, see little things or whatnot. It's got a 4,000 plus milliamp battery. It's still on the fence if it's 3,900 or 4,050 because their website says both. But either way, it does reverse charging where you can get one of their cables for 10 bucks, plug it in here, and you know, charge a friend's device or whatever. That's pretty cool. The battery lasts forever. And also, um, and you know, it's a little hefty, but I wanted a bigger phone. So I just think they've really, you know, hit the mark. Um, the, the volume is really loud. Um, it's very sharp. Um, pretty fluid. Let's go back to the home page. Okay, so there's my living room as usual. There's my uh, Godzilla phone, and it says 
Huawei. Let's see if we get in focus because very sharp. I mean, for 720 text, I'm very, very happy with that. Down here, you can't see it, but it says here, I say it says large and in charge. I got to fix my wallpaper so that that shows. I got to move it up. But for right now, y'all could see it says large and in charge. So, I mean, really um, very fluid experience. I'm really pleased with that. Volume's good. It even has a notification light on the outside right up here, which is so cool because you don't get that for a $300 phone. And it just kind of reminds me of a big Evo that is fast. It reminds me of my um, Infuse, you know, just the form factor. I always, you know, love those phones. So this is like coming home, but to a bigger, better state-of-the-art phone. And it's got a 13 megapixel camera. Uh, flash. It's got the little Huawei embossing on the back. No carrier branding because for $2.99 you can kiss your contract, you know, your carrier goodbye. I don't think I can say enough things about it. Now it did come with the Emotion UI which is a strange UI and it has no app drawer. It's very iPhone-ish. So I got rid of that right away. I just loaded AWX Launcher on here and it loaded up perfect. I was afraid that it might not load because no app drawer, but it's great. And really, you know, I have my circle launcher. Every single app that I have loaded works. And this has a couple of tricks up its sleeve. Like, you know, if it's ringing, you can turn it to quiet it. The battery management program that it has on here is amazing because it lets you control your battery life if you need to a lot easier than Android generally does. And, um, I don't know. I don't think there's much more else I can say. Oh, this is what's cool. So I went ahead and I put one of those coils. You know, it's a flat coil and you just plug it in the um, USB port permanently. And then I put it here and you can see it wirelessly charges. Look. See, it's just charging up there and the charging light comes on up there. So how cool is that? I'm out of focus again with that but yeah I do not think you can go wrong with this phone and I don't know if they're still offering the free case and the one month free of net 10 but you need to get to get Huawei h-u-a-w-e-i dot com and check it out comes in black and white and they are really trying to make a presence here so they're really you know offering 30 days try their phone you don't like it send it back I believe they give a free refund. So what have you got to lose? If you're looking for a bigger phone, this is the one to try out because it's the bomb. <laughs> Thanks, y'all.